how are you guys how are you guys doing today how did you guys wake up um i'm rushing to the gym because it's been raining and it just took like a few minutes break and i don't want it i don't want to be rained on so i want to go to the gym and spend some time there because because i've been in the room all day and if i don't go to the gym i'll run mad tachizi mimi but anyway let me go to the gym guys oh my god <laughs> oh my god it's crazy because people are out here that's a thunderstorm thank you guys for 6k <laughs> oh my god i'm so happy i'm so blessed i feel so good i feel so encouraged to keep vlogging to keep posting for you guys i am so so happy and this is just the beginning guys like this is just the, the beginning of a very beautiful chapter for everyone who's been with me ever since i came here everyone who's still joining along the journey i really 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 appreciate every everyone's support for everyone who always shares my videos who always likes comments like hey may god hug you for me may, may you feel god's presence through my videos because that is the only way i can give back right now this is like the mombasa weather like the coastal region weather because it's raining like it's from raining and it's still so warm like you see like it's raining on me but i'm so close to the gym i am so happy thank you guys for getting me to 6k like it's manze hey it really validates me it really makes me believe i can actually get to 10k and even more like 10k is not the the maximum it's just a, another stepping stone you know yeah and i just received um an email that i have uh i've gotten something in the mailbox but I think I'll pick them I'll pick them up tomorrow. So I, don't worry, I'll take you guys with me to go pick them up and see what I got. I know what I, I've got in the mail. I just wanna see it. I wanna see it with my eyes. Like, hmm. I have to see it quite like hmm. <laughs> anyway. I might just tell you because you guys are going to see but there you'll probably see from the from the thumbnail or from the title of the video. I got a wig delivered. I got a wig sent to me my first wig yay so yeah that's what i'm going to pick tomorrow i'll probably do a video on it um by the end of the week we'll see how the week goes but i'm finally the wig girls i'm going to be part of the wig girls hey guys i am done with my workout i am done so I I decided to add weights on the normal normal weight I've been carrying, like I've been lifting. I added more weights on every like Kwakila workout and bro that workout has killed me. I feel like it's my first time working out like Naskia to we ni meisha. I could not finish like each set. I was stopping somewhere, I'm like but I want to train myself to like go higher because the weight nilikwanga na na inua it's like my body got used to it so it was just like okay <laughs> but anyway it was a good workout i wanted to talk about something i love when you guys ask me questions ama ask me to talk about certain topics and i can just guide you as to how i have I, like I can guide you as to how my journey is. I'm not saying this is the gospel truth. I'm just saying this is how this is how I am dealing with it. This is how I've been doing it and that's what I'm sharing. If it helps you, well and good. If it doesn't work for you, it's fine. Like salvation is not linear. There's no one way to salvation. You just do what you gotta do and let God guide you. So someone was asking me to speak about um christians and listening to secular music that's a that's like it's it's a reasonable question like i get it i get why it would be confusing or why it would be convicting to because it's a topic we've always had and for me because 
I never used to love listening to gospel music. I remember my mom, when I was young, my mom would always put Angela Chibalonza's music on repeat. Like her whole album, she had a CD which had almost all her songs. And every time Zikisha in a Rudia, and I'm like, so to it to the beat, Nisikize Niki Minaj. Like it really used to bother me when I was younger. But then I came to, I, I had a preaching and it was saying, um, you know how when Jesus was teaching the disciples and he told them, man cannot live by bread alone, but by the word of God. So by bread alone is like the worldly, like the world that we are in, the worldly pleasures, that is the bread. And the word of God is the word of God. Like there's, there's no other way to describe the word of God. Like reading the Bible, like just having a relationship with God. So he was saying man cannot live by bread alone, but by the word of God. He did not say man cannot live by bread. Like he did not say man should only live by the word of God. I, I don't want to mislead anyone. I want to like bring you guys pole pole moile where my thinking. Like yes, there are worldly pleasures natuko in this world, so we cannot escape them. You cannot go to a cocoon, I'm a cave somewhere and just say you're going to read the Bible and praise God until you die. We are still going to be part of this world. We are still going to be surrounded by temptations. There are going to be songs that you'll end up listening, even by choice or not, like things are always blasted everywhere you're going to be exposed to these things but the whole point jesus was like don't focus on that alone because for concert music music is like music grows something in you without a better word music grows something in you and it's like feeding your mind something each and every time you listen to it you're feeding your mind that that becomes your reality so just ask yourself what kind of music are you listening to and what is the message behind it there are secular or contemporary music that just pre like they sing about like normal stuff maybe like um i don't know i don't know i'm not thinking right now but there are secular music which like think, sing about like guns and death and sex and being mean and like things like those. The more you feed yourself such things, the more you believe it. And there are people who, there are gospel songs which sing about trusting in God and praying and how God is big, how God is mighty. The more you feed yourself that, the more you believe it. So the more the type of music music you listen to feeds your soul it feeds your soul it feeds your mind it feeds your thoughts and the best way like gospel is the, is the truth and not all gospels there are gospels that when you listen to them they just bring you in a place of worship ama they give you peace of mind they remind you there's a higher being that you're serving that's what i love to listen to do I have secular music in my phone? Yes. Do I use secular music in my vlogs? Yes. But do I always feed myself secular music? That is the question. Because secular music will feed the flesh. Gospel music will feed the spirit. The one which is fed more is the one which will be louder. Like, yondu itakuina kuangelesha the loudest. The one which is starving will not have like energy so let's say you've all you do is like listen to secular music you don't listen to any gospel music you don't read the bible you don't go to church you don't do anything you all you do is just live by the world and how the world dictates what is big in you is the flesh your flesh is strong your flesh is loud your flesh is what will be controlling you your flesh will control your thoughts it will control your actions it will control your belief system that is what it's going to do but the more you feed yourself gospel music your spirit grows strong your spirit grows so strong that even when the flesh tries to attack the spirit can control it you, you find yourself overcoming temptations you find yourself having peace in times of trouble you find yourself like relying on god you find yourself every time something happens you've run to god you've run to pray you're believing you're trusting god because that you you've fed your spirit to a point that even your flesh has no voice like 
it's not as loud so in a, in a mezwa not that it's not there but it's not as loud because you cannot kill your flesh completely the only person who can kill your flesh completely is god and he does that when you die so all you have to do make sure you feed the right thing this thing is a journey guys i'm not saying that you should now stop listening to secular music zifungia to watch it like those people will lead you to hell no i'm just saying feed more of what you want to be like if you want to be full of flesh then feed your flesh but if you want to be full of spirit feed your spirit have a gospel playlist and don't just listen to it like on sunday listen to it every day the way you get excited to listen to your r&b playlist or your heartbreak playlist whatever the way you'll get excited to do that make a playlist of gospel songs that you'll be excited to also listen to like ile tu na jembe eh if for the next two hours i'm just listening to gospel music you listen you listen you listen you listen you sing along nini nini you'll find yourself over time it gets to a point you start enjoying gospel music more than secular music like you'll try and listen to some of your secular music you go like eh it's not even hitting like at it makes sense i'm a sigiski let me listen to gospel evo to pole pole don't rush it don't stress yourself cuz if you expect yourself to warm keleo now delete all secular music and then focus on gospel utachoka utachana na think e gospel thing salvation and you'll be like you know what it's not for me it is not for me personally i approach salvation from a a, a graceful point like i'm not trying to rush it i still have time on this earth until god decides i don't and every day even if it's just two percent i'll just try and do two percent that leads me to god your two percent leo kesho nikiongeza two percent ni four percent kesho kutwa niongeze two percent sasa ni six percent with time unafika fifty percent with time you like your spirit is so big in times of trouble you like i serve a living god the god who brought me to this earth will will figure it out the god who started this work in me will be faithful to finish it so yeah that is that is my whole point secular music you cannot really avoid it it will always be there but just intentionally pick like things that feed your spirit intentionally do it intentionally like leo na ataka ni asubuhi mchana jioni anytime you get a free time whether you're happy whether you're sad whether you're bored whether you're excited whether just find a time like you have 24 hours as much as you give tithe in money you also have to tithe your time cuz god has given you life god has given you breath you have to tithe your time tell yourself i'm giving god 2 hours of my day every day like 24 hours 10% ya 24 hours siji ni ngapi but just give a few hours of your day at a, you can even start by 30 minutes you can start by 30 minutes or 10 minutes like just start somewhere hata kani 5 minutes hata utasikiza tu one gospel music leo kesho usikize mbili kesho kuto usikize tatu and by with time you end up okay it's actually nice it's actually nice you'll find yourself with a playlist two playlists three playlists currently i have two playlists i have um uh an english gospel playlist and a kenyan kenyan slash nigerian slash tanzanian gospel playlist so i hope that helps i hope that helps the one who asked and even the one who did not ask but needed it hope it helps I have just warmed my leftover. I want to have this cuz I'm so hungry. Oh my god. I'm so hungry. I've not even bathed or changed. I'm just like, let me eat fast. I'm so hungry. Are people always correcting me on my sources. Is mustard supposed to be put on food cuz Oops. I'm going to put it anyway. I love it on on sandwich. I'm going to try it in my food. What's the worst that could happen? Nothing. Mm. I love it. Mm. 
I really cannot wait to go and get my wig tomorrow. I'm finally getting my wigs. That vision board was just a lifesaver. It was God telling me, write it down. And though it may tarry, to come to pass. Mm. 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 Hi guys i have been okay it's drizzling but i've been rained on i want to show you guys the the mail that i've gotten i just wanted to record my initial reaction so that's why i wanted to open on camera i still have to go and pick some paperwork from school but i had to just come back and get something to cover my hair first because where i'm going is like really far and i don't want my hair to be rained on Anyway, so this is the first item. Mm. Taisha. Taisha human hair. Wigs, virgin human hair. Woo! I'm so excited. Oh my god, 14 inch. Oh wow. Look at this color. Wow. Ooh. Wow. And the lace. Oh my god. And I wanted it pre plaqued. It is pre plaqued. You see the like. Oh my god, not me talking the hair language. It is pre plaqued. The hair lining is really nice. Oh my goodness. And I really wanted the um, wig, glueless wig. So that's why I really wanted this so that I don't have to keep gluing it. But if I have to, I could. I just don't want to yet. Oh my god. Look at the color. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> it's really complimenting my skin this is so cute it's so soft it's so soft do i should i try it on let's just see oh my goodness Hmm. Let me just give you guys a good like y'all need to see. Oh wow, I'm really turning 25. Like I feel like in wigs I look it. Oh my god, guys, can you guys see? Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? And you can put it up. oh my god i don't know what is is it 13 by four oh, and they gave me a wake up child i love this color of wake up i love it oh i love the 
this wig now i have to buy um the customizing things but for the first time i'm just like i'm going to to wear it glueless <laughs> i'm like huh did you call me are you talking to me because i can't hear you over this virgin human hair i know that's right i know I just love this color. I love the waves. And it's smelling so nice. I love that it's pre plucked. I oh, I am obsessed, guys. Obsession. And I already have an outfit that it would really complement. So I'm just like, I'm gonna do this. Maybe in the next video, I'm going to show you how I wear it out because I'm gonna take content in it. And it has the back lace too in case you want to like hold it up like i love this wig guys i love i'm obsessed i'm obsessed 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 <sighs> it's my birthday i'm gonna do what i like i'm gonna party tonight na -na 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 -na. it's my birthday This is another wig. Yeah, four by four less front wig. Well, let me find out. Let me find out. Let me find out. Who is black? Oh, and it's curly, and they give me lashes. And I think uh, these are lashes, and I think this is a wig band. I think, yeah, and a wig cap. So this is a lash set, a wig band, and a wig cap. This is 12 inch, the other one is 14 inch. I know that's right. I know that's right. I know that's motherfucking right. love me some curly short hair not me just trying these things Ooh. wow i'm gonna put it on the side i love it on the side i love it on the side it's giving it's giving my natural hair you know, this is my Kenyan hair. It's my Kenyan roots. This is how our hair looks like. It's giving I'm not from here. I just came to visit. I look so cute. I'm in my wig era, guys. I am definitely in my wig era. And the face, like, I look so beautiful in Natasha Japaka makeup. This is from 
fashion hair yeah it's from fashion hair i am also going to link it so that if you want an easy throw on wig that makes you look natural and you don't have to try too much you don't have to keep um doing too much but still look cute and still look like you got your shit together i'm gonna link it in the description box okay okay what is here this is dollar hair dollar hair dollar hair Zala Zala Bill, come get her. Okay, I don't even know how am I supposed to be opening this thing. Ooh. Come on, oh guys, I can like I can customize it to like wow, especially with the other hair. So I got my hair waxed. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Look, this is so cute. Wow! Like when I want to lay my edges, I can just like, <laughs> and it's you can use this the pink side or the black side. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, a comb. My God, I'm about to be this, like, wig girlies. Oh, for the ages. Like, I've watched enough wig installation videos. I kind of know what this do. What the, what do you do? A wig cap? How many wig caps? I have like I think this come in two. Yeah, two, four, six. I have six six wee cats. That is a good number. Oh and a hot comb. I'm so happy. I did carry my Kenyan hot comb, but the plug where like where I have the plug where I have to put it to like the socket and everything is different from the plug here oh so this is nice because this is the american you get oh my god oh my god <sighs> i'm so happy i'm just so happy I'm really in my wig era. I am going to customize. Um, which one am I going to customize? I think which one is going to be my birthday wig? I'm confused. Because like my dress is pink. I could use this one. Because it can the other one which complements my skin tone, but I could also use this one because like pink and black, pink and black really go well together. I'm just like I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But I'm, I think I'm gonna work with this one first. Anyway, guys, let me go back to school because it stopped raining. Let me go back to school and go finish with the paperwork. And then um, what else do I have to do today? I have to cook today. How did I get this out and I can't get it back in?
gotta leave somebody. It's all good, it's all good. Most of the things I don't wanna say. I won't be around while you chase. You'll try to come back when you fail. Guys, I am from the post office. I was going to inquire something about my address, and then I saw this cake place, and I was like, "My birthday is coming up. Like, I could buy myself a cake." And I just walked in and booked. <laughs> I just walked in and booked a cake. Um, it's gonna be delivered. No, it's not gonna be delivered. I'll have to come pick it up, but that will be on fourth of August on my birthday. I have a cake for my birthday i'm finally getting excited for my birthday i'm turning 25 like it's not a birthday if i don't get a cake so i deserve to eat a cake i deserve to feel nice on my birthday i'm so happy i'm excited now okay let me go get my uber that's crazy <laughs> so you just had to stop out of nowhere yeah. <laughs> I stopped, let him off. Like, okay. If you say so. It was like wasn't nothing out there, you know? <laughs> like on some back road. Yeah. And um, he was telling me that one trailer park out there by the airport, I guess, you know, they've had some road construction out mm. there, so you can't really get to it. So I had to like go back out and Yeah. You know, because I just wow. do what this thing tells me. Yeah. I finally got him to his place though. He's like, I guess you get out now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you say you're okay. Make a slight right turn. And it doesn't take shortcuts. I noticed that. It won't take mm. any shortcuts. It'll take the longest. One girl was in here earlier. Yeah. Go this way. I said, I'm just going to follow this. <laughs> because if you don't, it'll start trying to give you messages and okay. stuff. Okay. Yeah, it'll start trying to clean. Y'all know this is about to slap. This is about to slap. The test test. This looks so good. And it's the normal spaghetti. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. The best thing that ever happened to me in this country is being able to make my own food. Oh. 
so good. Wow. Nakula tuni kijambia. I'm actually the one who made this. It's so good. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna finish enjoying my meal and then get to editing this vlog so that you guys can wake up to it tomorrow. Again, thank you so much for 6,000 subscribers. I am. I'm so happy. I am so grateful. I I'm just so grateful actually. So yeah, if you've watched if you watch this vlog and you've reached to this point and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Like this is your sign to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Yeah. Guys, it's me editing this video and again realizing I have not given the word of today. So I'm gonna take it straight from the Bible, one of my colored verses, and I'm gonna share with you what I learned from this verse. It is Matthew chapter 21, verse 1 to 11. Um, it occurs when Jesus was, I think he was going to be crucified. They were going into Jerusalem. I'm not sure what he was going to do, but I think it was before he was crucified. So it says, now when they drew near to Jerusalem and came to Bethphage, Bethphage to the Mount of Olives, then Jesus sent two disciples saying to them, go into the village in front of you and immediately you will find a donkey tied with a colt. You will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, you shall say, The Lord needs them and he will send them at once. This took place to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet, saying, Say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, on a colt, the fall, the fall of a beast of burden. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put on their cloaks and sat and he sat on them. Most of the crowd spread their cloaks on the road and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. And the crowds that went before him and that followed him were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. B Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred up saying, Who is this? And the crowd said, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth of Galilee. So there's so many lessons here. I'm just going to give you the ones I can remember as of this moment because I read this, I heard this verse from Bishop T.D. Jakes and he's as much as he's a preacher, he's a teacher. He's a teacher of the word. And that's why I love his preachings because he makes me understand God's mind. He makes me understand the Bible in a way that, uh, like, in a way that relates to my life now and not just seeing God as the God of the Bible, I'm not the God of the Israelites. So, yeah. So, here it starts with Jesus. When they reached to the entrance of, um, Jerusalem, when they drew near to Jerusalem, Jesus told, sent two of his disciples and said, go, um, go to, go into the village. You'll find a donkey tied and a colt with her and tie them and bring them unto me. Mind you, they have not entered the city yet. No one knows what is where, what is where, what is you know, no one knows anything about it unless they go in. But God, Jesus is using the prophecy that was prophesied by the prophets before he even came to earth. And it's said here, this took place to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet. Meaning, it was already prophesied that the son of God will come to save the world. He will come in a donkey and put on their clocks. Huh? He will come in a donkey this the the prophecy was behold your king is coming to you humble and mounted on a donkey on a colt 
the fall of a beast of burden so jesus knew if it was written in the prophecy before i get there i know it is already there waiting for me there's already a donkey there waiting for me because it was written and sometimes we forget that before life happens like literally every verse goes back to before i formed you in your mother's womb I had a plan for you, a plan for prosperity and not disaster. So just know your life is already planned out. Like God, God knew the end before the beginning. God had already decided who you are going to get married to, when you are going to get married, what job you are going to do, what era you're going to be born in, what generational curses you're going to break, what generational blessings you're going to inherit. All the people that you were supposed to meet, everything is in place. All we have to do is walk into our destiny and be so far. Like Jesus' faith was so strong that he believed if this prophet of God prophesied this, then it is going to happen that exact way. And he could have decided to go into the city walking or he could have rented something expensive, you know. But since it was written, the son of God, the king that is going to save you is going to come humble and on a donkey. He had to go in with the donkey to fulfill the prophecy. And he had to do it like he had to have faith that the donkey is there waiting. Okay. So like, just know if a prophecy was put over your life, God has already put things and placed everything in place to help you and isn't your burden.